Hello, I'm Matthias, the person behind Stitch Buddy, which is an editor for embroidery designs on iOS and on macOS. And in my last video, I showed you a new version, Stitch Buddy for iOS, which allows you to combine, convert, and modify designs on both device types on iOS, uh, on iPads as well as iPhones. And in the past, there were two applications. One was Stitch Buddy View able to view designs on both device types and an enhanced version Stitch Buddy HD which could edit, um, convert, modify designs but only on iPads. And with Stitch Buddy for iOS in the future you will have the same feature set on iPhones and on iPads. In my last video I showed you how to modify uh, convert and combine designs on an iPhone and in this video I will show you how to mail, how to print, how to search for designs on an iPad and give you a sneak preview on the slide over feature. So I'm opening up Stitch Buddy for iOS. Um, I have a split screen on the left side my gallery, on the right side there's an edit window which will show the currently selected design, for example this Je welcome Jeff design and on the right side I can use menus to select items or to work on threads for example something like that and in the last session we created a design in the demo folder so I'm double tapping on demo opening this folder and there's the sunflower Jeff design we worked on and if I like to print this design I can use the share menu, print a detailed sheet of the design, take some time to prepare the printout and now I have the printout, a preview of the printout, I can select the printer, I can zoom in to have a more um, detailed view of the printout and um, that's a standard iOS feature, it's nothing special of, I of Stitch Buddy there. I can cancel the printout of course um, I can mail the design as well. There are different options to mail a design, either the, the design file itself, so in this example the Sunflower Jeff file, or I can mail a PDF file similar to the printout, for example the detail sheet or a real size template which could be used to look um, to align the design on a on a fabric. So cancelling the mail here and deleting the draft. Um, when I'm changing back into my gallery I can just search for designs um, just by entering some search string and for example I like to search for designs starting with April something like that. And there are no designs in my root folder so there are no items returned as a search result but I can select only also searching in subfolders. For example here and as you can see there are a couple of designs from different folders which I could preview in the right side of the screen as well. So I would like to give you a short overview about the slide over feature. So switching back to my home screen and for example opening up Safari. So and if I'm now dragging my, my finger from the bottom of the screen slightly up, there will be the dock. And if I'm touching on the stitch body icon, dragging it to the right side of the screen, you will see that there's a different view on my screen, which is stitch body in slide over mode. And it's presented exactly in the way we, we left the application. So I can, for example, cancel the search here. I can navigate again into the demo folder, use one of the designs there and um, by double tapping adding, editing the design. Actually I could really modify the design or, or changing or deleting, moving stitches there but uh, I wouldn't recommend do that in this compact view. Nevertheless you can do, you can of course also change stitch orders, something like that, but um, I think it's most beneficial to have slide over for it short overview about designs. So that's the demo for today. I hope you enjoyed the session. Um, thanks a lot and have a great day.